the overall objective of the plan is to reduce 59 gigatons of carbon pollution that we pour into the atmosphere every year as if it's some kind of free and open sewer to reduce that 59 gigatons to net zero by 2050. That's what the science tells us we must do to have a 50-50 chance of holding the rise in temperature to one and a half degrees Celsius. So the big numbers here again are 59 gigatons, net zero in 2050. And by the way, to get there by 2050, there's broad agreement that we've got to cut it in half by 2030, just eight years from now. So FDR's plan had three big objectives. We have six objectives and four accelerators, and I'm going to show them to you right now. If you'll bring up the first slide. The six main sources, we're going for gigatons here of emissions that we're going to reduce, come from electrifying transportation. That's converting our cars, buses, and trucks to battery electric operation instead of diesel and gasoline. The largest opportunity is to decarbonize the grid. There's some 25 gigatons in driving this to net zero. And that's by relying on wind and solar and, and, and safe nuclear instead of burning diesel, burning gas, burning oil. The third big objective is to fix our food systems, to lower our dependence on beef and on dairy and to reduce food waste. The fourth is to protect nature, and that's to stop deforestation and to set aside areas of the ocean and the wildlands for regenerative, protected natural processes. We fifth got to clean up industry. Tremendous emissions come from concrete and from steel. We're not going to stop consuming those. So we've got to find low carbon ways to make them. And then finally, the sixth of these, in many ways, the hardest mm. is to remove the remaining, what I call stubborn carbon. There will remain some carbon emissions and the IPCC report for the first time said, we're gonna to have to rely on ways, both natural and engineered, such as direct air capture to take those out of the system. Okay, any one of these is a realm all unto itself. All six of them is a really tall order. The extra dimension is we've got to do this now. We've got to do it fast. And so the second part of our plan, next slide, please, are what I call the four accelerants. How are we going to get this done 50% of the way by 2030? Well, we've got to win at the politics and policy. We've got to turn movements, protests, for example, into action or purchasing power of large companies into their whole supply chain decarbonizing. We've got to innovate like crazy. I come from the school that says we do not have all the technologies we need to get this done. And we need to invest more, lots more. 